Hi everybody, welcome to the CCM experience by me, Alex Northcliffe. Thank you for coming to the open house. A little bit about me, I am one of the first year PhDs here in the uh, in CCAIM. I am a physics master's, so I did my undergraduate degree here in physics, and I also did a machine learning master's at UCL last year. I am co-supervised by Pietro Leo in the computer lab and by Mihaela van der Schaar in the maths department. So I spend most, most of my time in these two lovely buildings. So a little bit about my current work. Uh, as a, as a new PhD student, we, don't, we haven't done a significant amount of work yet, but I'm currently looking at feature selection. So the question is, uh, when we're looking at what genes actually lead to certain diseases, which genes actually matter? We can say, you know, here's a list of 200 genes, but maybe within those only 10 significantly actually cause any difference. <clears throat> and then we can say which groups of genes matter. So taking this further, you think, well, gene one and gene two might not be very significant on their own, but when they act together, this leads to certain, certain diseases. And so this is we're looking at knockoff, generating knockoff, knockoffs to understand the correlations involved. And so the way you do this is you use unsupervised learning to create these, these very good fake, uh, fake signals which basically you then compare to the real signals and which ones <clears throat> are actually causing a certain disease. And then you can select which ones are actually, which genes are important. And we're doing this with, with these knockoff GANs. So GANs are usually used to do images on the, on the right, uh, but here we'll be using them to make these, um, yeah, these, these genes, uh, these gene expressions. Uh, another another bit of work I am looking at is disease progression, and so we want to think when a, when a person is ill, how do how do they progress in time? How can we predict how they will evolve? Um, and then <clears throat> can we bring in certain interventions to give the best prognosis? So we're going to look. We I I think we can learn this from a dynamical perspective, because underlying all this is uh, biology, and so. Uh, one of the previous works that I've done is neural ODE processes, where there's a, an image of the model below, where essentially you use all these observations to encode a latent state, which evolves dynamically according to differential equations. And then you decode this latent state to give your observations. And importantly, this is a, a Bayesian approach. So you can get lots of, you can get lots of different possible trajectories to uh, you know, give practitioners the best possible uh, tools to predict what will happen. Uh, so why, why is CCM great? Well, firstly, there is amazing research and we start with these fantastic collaboration opportunities. The main thing with CCM is we are, we are approaching the problem of AI medicine from all, all the different angles. So from the biological angle, the medical angle <clears throat> and the pure machine learning angle. And this really does bring together the world's best academics and industrial researchers to come up with fantastic ideas. And yeah, there's this cross-pollination of ideas. So, you know, we, we can bring in the domain knowledge from medicine as well as the best machine learning algorithms. And we get to work on difficult, Im impactful problems. And as well as that, we have many brilliant organized talks and seminars to really help us come up with great ideas for the future. There's fantastic support, so the PhD is fully funded. And so as soon as I had my place, I didn't have to think about getting funding, as well as support for conferences. So again, like when you are presenting work, you don't have to pay to go to these conferences. And again, excellent supervision. So Pietro and Mihela have been really fantastic so far, giving me you know, great support, really sort of uh, dissecting my ideas and, and sort of directing them in the best way possible. And also it's lovely to work in this amazing city and an incredible university. You, you can sort of feel the aura of, uh, of previous work done here and it is really inspiring and helpful. And, <clears throat> and finally, it's fun. Uh, we've, the center is really enjoyable to be in. So, so this is a, a picture of us at the uh, first meeting we had, uh, which is like a very nice introductory coffee meeting. And it was really enjoyable to chat to everyone 
and you know get to know get to know everyone and i'm really looking forward to you know more more fun opportunities more fun socials in the next few years and so yes thank you for listening if you'd like to reach out to me and ask me any questions uh you can message me on linkedin uh my name is alex norcliffe or twitter where my uh name is alex norcliffe 98 thank you for listening <laughs>